Hey, what is going on gamers? It's Dr. Redstone signing into another episode on the channel. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about heroic mode. We got tip strategies number one. We do have a, uh, what is it, a novice beginner guide, intermediate beginner guide, whatever it is. The first six stages, I'm going to show you exactly how to get them done as a beginning player. If you guys have any suggestions, make sure to put those down in the comments below. Things that you wish you would have known if you restarted the game. Uh, maybe level 100, just recently hitting anything like that. This channel is a gaming channel where we talk about tips, tricks, and different pro strategies. So if you play Knights and Dragons, consider subscribing before you go. Without further ado, cue that intro. Bah! Alrighty gamers and signing into this one we're going to be talking about heroic mode We do have a couple different things that I want to go over before we get into the visual guide And that's going to be a little bit of tips and tricks for you guys Now this is in particular to lower level players uh, So heroic mode this is what we have going on We're going to be trying to go ahead and get that armor right there So it's pretty easy for higher level players So heroic mode is something that most people don't do for me, I don't really do it on the global, but I definitely do it over on the EU server. Uh, so first and foremost that you guys are gonna wanna know is the key to success is your friends, okay? So if you go over here, this is, the, this is the best way right there. That little magic button right there, make sure you guys have top dollar friends, uh, make sure they have really good nights and everything like that. That is gonna be your guys' key to success. Now, if you guys don't know exactly how to go ahead and get top level friends, boom. Heroic mode, one of the best ones. Arena, one of the best ones. Uh, raids, this one right here, boom. That one right there, boom. Or putting your guys' friend code down in the comment section below, letting people know what server you guys play on. Now, the best thing that I like to do, heroic mode, we go into leaderboards. Uh, we go to, we'll just go to the very beginning one. View leaders, I always go to the top, and then I go back one, and then I go back two. So I always send a friend request to all of these people. Each and every single one of these ones right here, I would send a friend's request to. Hit profile, add friend. I've reached my maximum number of friends because I don't really need too many other ones. And so that's the key to success right there. Now Relic Runes, we're gonna go and jump into this one. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna go and jump into this one. And one thing that I really wanna do is without Shatter Shield. So I feel like I always end up using Shatter Shield and I know a lot of you guys don't have Shatter Shield, so what we're gonna use is, is this Whirlwind Pet and it's Loot Sensibility, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and take two knights just in case. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And so basically, you guys are gonna be able to see, I'm gonna take just my people. So if I can finish it with just my core people, you could easily take two friends. If I were to go to hire a friend right now, we go and get this one selected and done. And we go into We'll take this one for example, okay? Now take a look at my friend's knight down there and then my knight's right there. There's a pretty big difference, okay? So I'm just like, I would say I'm an average player. I'm not super good, I'm not super low, I'm just kind of average, okay? Um, but you guys wanna have that above and beyond with your friends. Uh, so Virgo over there, he's definitely a lot better than I am. Uh, so yeah, so he would be able to clear the stage easier than I would, especially with my knights. Uh, so, but yeah, like I said, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first one, you're going to want to go ahead and take maybe an earth and a spirit, some sort of spirit one. You guys should be able to get this one done all on your own. Typically, if you guys have reached level 100, you have some sort of dragon forges or anything like that. So you guys should be able to do it. You guys shouldn't really need to take friends with this one. Um, but in case you do need friends, it only take one friend. Um, you guys will see here, we're going to go ahead and be able to get this one all done all by ourselves. Uh, not need any help from anybody else. So, uh, and a little bit later, we're going to show you a little bit on how you guys can do different stages and stuff like that and exactly what you're going to need uh, to get through those ones. So Fairy Forest, again, is definitely one of the harder ones in my opinion. Uh, for me, uh, when I was like a beginning, you know, in the beginning stages. So taking a look at that one, didn't take too much. You guys should be able to do that one all on your own. I'm pretty certain that you guys should be able to. Uh, now Thieves Cove, jumping over here into this one. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take an Air Knight. Uh, let's go ahead and see if there's, we got the Cowboy, we got that one. Uh, we'll probably stick with that one. And again, if we go over here and take a look, uh, we'll just go Air right in here. 
and let's see let's see a lot of people have that halloween armor that we got last year uh, a lot of people have one of these guys right here so taking a look at that i mean my defense is a little bit higher but their hp is definitely higher than mine so uh, that's going to be something to take into consideration i'll bring that one and then i guess i will bring let's bring that one just in case something were to go wrong uh, i don't think that it should again these first two stages i feel that you guys should be able to beat with one night uh, maybe two at the most depending upon which kind of uh, elements you guys have um, but I know for me in the beginning stages it was very very easy or simple to go ahead and get this stuff kind of knocked get that stuff knocked down no big deal so air is what you're going to want to bring for this one and again we don't have no shatter shield anything like that I remember when I first started the game I didn't start the game with shatter shield it took probably about a month or so maybe to get a shatter shield uh, pet maybe a month and a half I don't remember it took a little bit of time though so Thieves Coves, all done and dusted, able to do that one with one night, no problem. Uh, looks like we took about 600 damage or so on that. Uh, so pretty good overall, pretty good. Uh, this one, I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy, our Tiki Tiki Timbo, No Shot Rembo. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you've ever read that book, by the way. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take that one. Let's go ahead and jump over here with, not the Leprechaun. Let's do this one just in case. And so yeah, again, we're gonna go and jump into this one. No shatter shield, no nothing. One night should be able to get this thing done. Uh, we've got that night there for backup, just in case it doesn't work out. You guys will know you need two friends, but I'm pretty sure you're only gonna need one on this one. So keep in mind, we do not have shatter shield. I know a lot of people were having troubles with heroic mode uh, because when I did my visual guide and stuff like that, I always end up having shatter shield, and it takes shatter shield takes you a long way especially when you guys have some pretty good armor. So make sure you guys are trying to get Shatter Shield as soon as possible uh, because it's definitely gonna help you out and in the long run. Even on the EU server, I only have one pet with Shatter Shield and it definitely helped me out a lot. So, okay, so taking a look at this one. So again, able to get it all done. So if you were to take two or one knight and one friend, you're easily able to go ahead and get through Skeleton's Tomb, no problem. Uh, Flaming Wildwood, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. I wonder what I have. Probably my cowboy armor would be best. So we're gonna go and take that one into battle with us. And let's see, what would be a pretty good backup knight? Um, do we have just like an earth and something? No, okay, let's, we'll take another water one then, no big deal. Okay, let's go and get this stuff unequipped. Make sure when you guys use your potions, uh, unequip the ring and amulet. I don't know if you guys know that, but when you unequip the ring and the amulet, it saves you a lot of potions in the long run. And that's not the right one. That's it? No, that's not it. Which one is it? Where's it at? Which, uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's do a little bit of investigative work. So that one and then that one. Okay, got it. No, no. Okay, here we go. Um, where's it at? There's that one and then where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? I almost clicked on that other one. Why is it way back there? Maybe because it's not very good, huh? Okay, so we're going to go and take these two into battle right now and see exactly what we have going on. Keep in mind, you could, you guys might need to take like two knights and one friend or something like that. Um, if you guys can minimize this to one friend, it's going to make it super, super easy for you guys. So um, a lot of times what I always like to do is I always like to see how far one knight can take me in stages. So if one night could take me two stages, the other night takes me three stages, it, it gives me a really good idea on how many nights that I'm gonna need to take in the long run. Uh, so this one right here, so we are, we're gonna need two friends on this one technically. Uh, but again, if you take two nights or anything like that, take two nights, one friend, you guys are gonna be able to get this one a-okay, no problem right here. Uh, Cold Rock Craigs, let's go ahead and take a look. I think we'll probably take this guy. We're gonna go ahead and use that potion no problem just because. And you're gonna need a earth one on this. And let's see here. We'll take this guy as backup, kind of reinforcements just because it has that earth and spirit one again. And so we'll take these two in there into battle and just kind of see, oops. Let's go ahead and unequip those. Again, little tip, trick of the day. Save those potions right there, okay? You never know when you're gonna need them, okay? So we're gonna go and take these two people into battle here. Again, keep in mind, if you guys were to take like two knights on the last one and one friend, you guys would easily be able to get that one done. 
And let's go ahead and just jump into this one. I'm not sure, this one might be able to take us all the way. I don't think, I, I think I used to use one night and one friend on this one, and I didn't really have any issues with it after that. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and see. You guys should be able to use this one with you know one friend. That should be everything just like that and get that one all taken care of. Uh, like I said, Fairy Force was really the only one that I really had trouble with. Um, even with friends, because it seems like it takes really two, you know, one night and two solid friends to be able to go ahead and get that stuff all done. So, um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get that thing all finished up. Uh, so again, if you guys were to take one night, uh, even as simple as a Dragon Force, it can get you through one single round, one stage, um, and then your friend jumps into battle, you guys are gonna be good to go. The other thing to really keep in mind is the friend trick, uh, the halfway level up thing, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and bring, let's see, I'm gonna go here, I had the old Leprechaun, everybody got that one, and got this, and got this. Hopefully you guys have gotten that one. So this is a really good HP armor, um, not really good attack, not really good defense. We're gonna take this one into battle, and then I'm just gonna take two fire friends with me. Uh, we're gonna pick the best one, so Dr. Lucas who, you're gonna be running with me, man. And let's see, who else we got? Um, should we just go with Ralph, I guess? Ralph's pretty beast right there. Um, we'll see if they could even, if they're gonna do any damage. So if this one is Fairy Forest, the most difficult one in my opinion as a starter. Make sure when you guys use your 19 friends, use nine of these friends on this stage right here in the very beginning. Get this one all taken care of so then the other ones are a lot easier in the long run. Uh, so I have one night. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have any nights similar to this Leprechaun armor and attack defense. I know the HP is pretty high because I have that ring in the amulet all the way boosted up. Uh, but this should be kind of a typical layout for somebody kind of just starting out new, fresh, anything like that. So we're gonna go and jump into it. And the one thing that I really want you guys to see is as soon as my knight goes down, you're gonna see Luke jumps into battle. And when he starts losing health, He's gonna come back into the battle with about half of his health. Uh, you guys are probably gonna see that one here in this one. Um, unless he's too strong, he might be too strong, we'll see. Uh, but see the difference that it takes when you guys just bring one knight, it can take you through one or two rounds, um, which definitely helps out a lot more in the long run here. So uh, let's go ahead and see. So it, he didn't gain any health right there, but if that's about where it's gonna be, uh, where they do gain health. And so like I said, if you can take, there we go. So if you could take two knights into battle, let's do it right now. Let's take two knights into battle. I wanna show you guys this one right now. Um, so if we were to go, we're just gonna go here and here, and I'm gonna go ahead and get something. Let's go, we'll just go with um, something basic. I'm gonna go with that one, and then I'm gonna go with this one. And we're not gonna do much with the, take a look at the attack, take a look at the defense, take a look at the HP. We're not gonna do anything too crazy, okay? That should be a lot of what your guys' standard armors are and what they look like and everything like that. Uh, B Money Love, we're gonna go and take you and run with you. Uh, so I've got these two knights right there. I've got Draken with me, I've got Joe with me. Big shout out to you guys. B Money Love, big shout out to you, bro. Um, so we've got these ones here. So this would be essentially what it would look like if you took two, you know, of your regular knights, you know, low attack, low defense, low HP. So two knights and one friend. Let's go and jump into it and see exactly what's going to happen. Uh, so just like I said, if you guys could take maybe one or two knights or three knights and one friend, it definitely saves you a little bit in the long run. So that guy right there, uh, able to get through two stages. And we're gonna go and see exactly how far this one's gonna be able to take us. Looks like this one's probably gonna be able to go through another two stages as well. So if we were to take three knights, just like these two right here, it would get us all the way to the boss and then our friend would jump in and just beat the boss for us, okay? So keep that in mind when you guys are going through and doing this repetitively. When I used to do it, I used to write down, okay? I used to have like a notepad and I would write down exactly, you know, how many knights that I needed and then how many friends did I need it? If I use the level up trick, how many friends did I need? How many, uh, how many knights did I need? How many friends did I need? I used to write all that stuff down because all that stuff definitely helps you guys out in the long run. So uh, with a recap, make sure you guys have really good friends. If you guys don't know how to do that, you guys can go over here to the raid. Um, I think raid, yep, is all done and dusted. 
We're gonna go here to top players and instead of the top 20 players, which all of them get friends requests way too often, just go through and friends request all these people right here, okay? Just go through, profile, add, and then move on to the next one. Who do I, Sand Rising, he's on my friends list right there. Uh, Joker, I think he's on my friends list as well. So go through and just add these people, add them all up, okay? Uh, go through all the way 20 to 100, add them. Go over to heroic mode, 20 to 100, add them. And it's gonna help you guys out in the long run. If this video does not help you guys out, let me know down in the comment section below. Let me know how I can help you because this is the best visual guide that I can think of to make sure you guys can get through intermediate uh, or novice um, without any problems, okay? Definitely let me know. That's gonna be everything for me. Make sure to smash that like button if this video helps. Um, what? Make sure to smash that like button, helps me out more than you know. If you have any questions or suggestions, put those down in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe before you go. That's everything for me. This is Dr. Redstone, signing out. Thanks, YouTube. Peace.